Hello everyone, my name is Niall and welcome back to another Life is Strange video. The question I want to ask today is, how could Life is Strange create a storyline that brings the game back to Arcadia Bay and the characters of Arcadia Bay? The first way could be by using the same storyline, but creating a story around a different character that hasn't been fully explored. So, some ideas. Side stories could be created away from the main story of Life is Strange 1, with their own new focus. And maybe even, these stories could overlap with the timeline of Life is Strange 1. For example, playing as Victoria, seeing her insecurity from her own point of view. Playing as Warren, his thoughts around Max. Maybe playing as Dana and her story with her pregnancy. Or maybe looking at the game from Alyssa's point of view, being able to see Max save her over and over again from her perspective. But in that case, only if he chose to keep saving her. Could it work as well if you were able to play as a different character in different episodes? So for episode 1, maybe you play as Victoria, but for episode 2, you might play as Alyssa. I'd love to talk, Max, but I'm drowning in puddle scum. So maybe the stories in each episode wouldn't have to be so detailed, but the characters have already been built up as relatable, and they're cared for, because they've been characters in previous games. I survived poverty and an abusive family, just so I can end up here to die. All of these ideas are a similar style to Before the Storm. A sequel for Before the Storm itself would also work well to fill in the huge gaps that have been left unanswered. I agree that powers add an important element to Life is Strange games. It's what really separates them from other story-based games. But there's definitely evidence to suggest that other characters from these stories could have powers too. And so they could play on those ideas to give us our supernatural fix. Another way they could solve this would be by putting these side stories right at the centre of the supernatural events we already know are going on, around Max. If they created a game with the main idea being that it's based around Max's timeline and powers, and expanding on the side characters of the first game, it would work well. The problem with going back to known characters is that some people may not like the new stories, which could put them off enjoying the entire series completely. But overall, with the promise these characters hold, shouldn't it be worth trying? Most people can just disregard the new stories from their own canon if they feel that way. Using different time periods and or settings would be a super interesting way for Life is Strange to base a game around. So a completely new period of time, for example the Before the Storm sequel would fall into this category, or maybe even go really far back in time and have a game set in say, Arcadia Bay in the 1980s. For example, William could be the main character. I might have an idea for a video on that coming out soon, so stay tuned. Other new settings that haven't been explored could also be used. For example, Seattle, and seeing some of Max's time there. We wouldn't necessarily have to be playing as her, but having a character as part of a story would make it interesting. There's a lot of ways the series can loop back to Arcadia Bay and create new stories for the characters we love. Of course I think it's important that we let Life is Strange grow as a series and as a franchise, and explore completely new stories and characters too. But as they've already made something so successful, it would make sense to keep that alive in some respect as well. So, let me know if you'd like to see more theory videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you again soon.